to uh, Crawford Street Junction as you can see in front of me now I've now got uh, my plastic card so I can now proceed to finish off the bus station area uh, I've got this yesterday which is Friday so I'll crack on with that but I haven't done much up on the bus station area apart from put LEDs in the buildings um, as I've had to do some decorating and whatever so I've not been up here for a fortnight but what I do want to show you is some little bits I've picked up for the back of the layout where the terraced houses and the low reliefs go in now what I have picked up is these kits from eBay um, they're an MDF laser cut 4mm and they're not a bad little kit uh, I've not one or two together so I've moved this out of the way and uh, put this in and there's one that's built up I bet it took me 30 minutes if that to build it push to glue it all together with a super glue um, and then when they're weathered up they do look quite smart There is one uh, done and weathered. Looks a look quite. Uh, looks quite well. Now the only thing I've found with them is when it comes to putting the barge boards on fascia. Excuse me, arm. It comes with this. But the trouble is, is the thickness. 4mm down the side. Well, it just won't look right, so I've replaced it with plastic. I think it looks a lot better. So what I've done now, I've joined one or two together, which is there. This is the terraced house and the pub. And obviously then the iron that one up and it'll start to look like a row terraced houses which if you look at the computer at the back that's the sort of area they're going in oops let's try to come back out of that there at the back there so that is really all I've got done at the moment so I'll put a bit more together and then show you where I've got up to. Right, as I said, uh, this is start my uh, garden railway. Um, how it came about was uh, I put this bridge in with these rails here uh, for the grandkids. It's getting a bit dangerous now because just here I have a, a deep pool. So I thought the best thing I could do was fence it off and obviously dug out the bed there. That area is being taken down and the shed will be built from the back there to this point here at uh, the old bridge. So what it allowed me to do then, turn this way, was start of a railway so what I've done I've put this piece in just to see what it would look like with the mineral felt on and at this point here it'll uh, S off this way and over the bed and then into the shed with a couple of helix, helixes to bring it up to uh, level so this afternoon, where the level is, I've got to cut the side of that to shed out and then dig up there and put the next piece in. So as I get a bit further on, I'll uh, update you. And I thought it was a good uh, plan to keep. It's getting too hot in the attic now, so I thought I'll come in the garden and do it. Right, I'll give you a little update later on.